Are you looking for more efficient ways to edit your voiceover? Every year, <gasps> the market becomes more sophisticated, <gasps> with short-term trade steadily increasing. <laughs> nice. I'm a huge fan of really refining and quickening up my workflow. And when I'm dealing with audio, being able to use keyboard shortcuts on my door, uh, particularly invaluable so that I can get that audio ready to go for a client as quickly as possible. So I thought uh, rather than go through an exhaustive list of the personalized uh, shortcuts that I use, I would draw your attention to one uh, slightly modified shortcut that I think would be particularly invaluable for any voiceover artist. And this is basically to do with de-breathing. It's rather than creating a silence, uh, which can be problematic when we're recording because you can hear the difference of the room tone when your voice is speaking. And then if you cut immediately to silence, uh, we can hear that, especially if we're listening through headphones as well. So we don't want to completely uh, revert to silence when we're doing editing. We want to replace that with some form of room tone. Now there's one way of doing that, which is actually recording a little bit of the room tone and then copy and pasting uh, that into various sections of your audio where the silence may be. But an alternative thing that I find really useful is to have two keyboard shortcuts, one of which reduces the, um, the volume by minus 40 dB so that pretty much any noise is radically reduced to be almost imperceptible. And another one which reduces to about between minus 12 and minus 20 dB. And what these two do really is that first of all, you you can apply them multiple different times. So you can apply minus 40 dB and then minus 40 dB again to get almost silence, but not absolute silence, so that there's still some form of noise floor underneath and there isn't that jarring effect on our ear. But it's really so that we can adapt to breaths because a very rookie mistake for voiceovers starting out is that we cut the breaths out entirely. And unless uh, we're voicing for a particular commercial project, generally we want to keep the breaths because the breath is life, the breath is inspiration. But those breaths can still sometimes be a little bit too perceptible. So if you have the minus 40 dB option as one keyboard shortcut, then that allows you to be able to drastically reduce the sound. But then if you also have a minus 12 dB is what I would recommend or a minus 20 dB setting as well, then what you can do is then select a breath and just reduce it slightly. And rather having to select it and then manually pull down the volume every time, if you have these on two little shortcuts, then you can literally select that particular breath or that particular silence or whatever that you want to do with it and then apply these very quickly as you go. And it means that you've got two shortcuts readily to hand. So as you're actually listening through, you can adapt your approach, whichever shortcut suits you best. So I use Adobe Audition. I'm just going to show you how I apply these shortcuts, how I set them up first hand and forehand. And then what I recommend you do is that rather than just taking my word for what the best settings are, is that you do some experimenting because your voice and your proximity and your studio will sound different to mine and so therefore you might want to fine tune it. But with that idea of a minus 40 dB or a minus 20 dB, there's two kind of starting blocks for this. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is that we want to select uh, any waveform and we want to select it in its entirety. And then in Adobe Audition, what we want to do is that we want to go to favorites and we want to uh, go to start recording favorites. Now on Adobe Audition, the way that we control um, the uh, volume is here. And obviously because I've already pre-selected this audio, any adjustment that I make here is going to adjust the uh, volume of my waveform. But rather than leaving it to my capabilities of being able to drag and drop correctly, I'm just going to go to minus 40 and type that in and then apply it. And that's going to be it. So as you can see, that waveform has been dra uh, drastically reduced, but it's not completely uh, uh, silent either. And then what we do is we go to favorites again and we stop recording that favorite and then we give it a title. So example minus 40 dB. And we save it like that. What we then do is that we have to actually uh, apply it on our keyboard shortcuts to make it a keyboard shortcut. So I would go to edit and then to keyboard shortcuts. And then I will search for what I have just 
created here, example 40 dB, and I'm going to drag it onto my keyboard. So I'm going to apply it to number five, like this. You'll see it's actually, I've already got a minus 20 and a minus 40 D breath here anyway, but here it is just as another example. I then click OK so that that is saved. And then just an example of how this might actually work, I will then undo what I've done previously. So this is the waveform that we have. And maybe we see that we've got some noises here that we want to uh, uh, take away. So I just select that and then I press five and it immediately reduces it down to uh, minus 40 dB. Same here on the other side as well, just uh, select whatever, however big or smaller section is that we want to select. And then again, we just apply number five and it reduces that down to minus 40 dB. And then you just continue to do the same thing with the minus 20 dB, which is my initial suggestion. Um, and then you can start uh, playing around with just reducing these breaths slightly. So, you know, this isn't a breath as an example, but the difference between a minus 40 dB, where that really completely cuts out the waveform, to a slight reduction where it's still ever so slightly there. So uh, this is particularly useful for those little breaths in between words where you don't want to cut into complete silence but still have a little bit of the life of the voice there. Hopefully you found that a little bit useful just to be able to speed up your workflow. Thanks so much for checking out my content as ever. Please do like, subscribe, comment if you found it useful and spread the word about the channel and I look forward to seeing you next time.